So welcome to today's video. I'm in Dubai and I'm staying at the Hyatt Regency Creek Heights Residencies. Now this hotel is located in Dubai Healthcare City. It's a fantastic location. So let's head into the lobby area. So the hotel actually, um, it's kind of divided into two areas. So you have on the left side, the hotel, you have this central lobby area, and then on the right side is the residency towers. Now I'm staying actually in the residency towers. Um, there's a model here actually, so I'm going to show you, but this lobby area is so beautiful. Um, it's amazing even at night time. So can you see the right tower? That's where this apartment is gonna be. So if you booked this hotel um, or this apartment, sorry, that's where you're going to be staying in that right tower. But here is the main lobby area. Just look how fantastic it looks. Look how beautiful it is. All those plants and greenery and really modern furniture. It really is a luxury hotel. So let me show you the room. So I stayed on the 25th floor. Here is my room, let's go inside. So it's pretty much a full apartment, wow. Look how spacious this is. So we have a living area here. There's a massive L-shaped sofa. Let's have a look at the view. Wow, we're really high up. It's decorated beautifully. Look at the wooden furniture. We have two USB slots, a HDMI port there. Here's the dining table. That's the mini bar. Do you guys normally eat from the mini bar when you stay in a hotel? Let me know in the comments below. And they provided tea, coffee, a kettle. And this is the kitchen. Apparently there's a dishwasher here and also a washer dryer. Let's have a look inside some of these cabinets. So they've provided utensils as well. You don't even need to eat out if you're staying here. You can just do all the cooking in this kitchen. That's the dishwasher there on the left. There's a microwave. More pots and pans. toaster even an extractor fan for your cooking there's no switches for the lights it's some kind of LED touch screen to control all of the lights and here's inside the fridge And now we have a small hallway moving into the bedroom. And there's also a desk here in the bedroom. In 
in this wardrobe we have an ironing board and an iron. And there's also a safe and a hairdryer. Now there's actually also an ensuite bathroom here. Now let's have a look at the ensuite bathroom. Just look how massive this apartment is. Let's look at the view outside the room. We're really high up, that's a decent view. It'll look quite nice at night time. Now let's have a look at the ensuite bathroom. We have a toilet there with a water jet, but there's also a bidet as well. There's a bath and a shower place. Just look at the size of that shower head. It's built into the ceiling. And they've included shower gel and shampoo. Also like a cotton bud kit and more lotion. And actually, let's have a look at the bathroom from a different angle. And actually there's also like a WC as well. So just in the entrance area, there's also a toilet and a sink. Let's have a look at that. Yeah, so just here there's a sink and a toilet here with a water jet. And there we go. You know, it's a massive apartment. Here's the view at night time from the living area. Now in terms of breakfast, you can have it at the Sufra restaurant. So let's have a look at the buffet. Here's the recommended timing. So it's open from 6.30 a.m. till 11 a.m they also recommend the best time to go. Let's have a look at the food. Now let's have a look at the pools. Now there is a separate pool in the residence tower but it was closed during my stay. This was the pool that's open for everyone. So it's a really large size pool with a depth going to 1.4 meters in the center. But it's shallow on the outskirts and there's also a hot jacuzzi as well. 
and also a pool bar too. Now let's have a look at the gym of the hotel. So this gym is by the company Nisa or Nisa. Everything about this hotel just screams luxury. Look how spacious everything is, look how clean and modern it is. So we have this area with weights, free weights and also machine weights. And then here is the cardio section on the outskirts with a nice view from the outside. Wow, look how many treadmills there are. Now we're going to move on to the spa. So there's a small salon here. I didn't get a chance to look at any of the treatment rooms, but here is the changing area. Really modern, really modern facilities. I've never seen such modern lockers. There's a sauna and a steam room here in the changing rooms. And let's have a look at the thermal areas. So this is priced at 100 dirhams per hour. We have a steam room, a shower with different shower heads to give you kind of like a sensual shower. And then we have a normal temperature pool. An area here where you can just relax. Also a heated pool here. Now in terms of the facilities for kids, there is a kids club so you can leave your child here for a select portion of the day. This is what the kids club looks like. And here are the general instructions for the kids club. Now in terms of evening meal, the hotel does have a few restaurants. We have this Spanish restaurant. Here's how it looks from the inside. You can also eat in the Sufra Buffet restaurant. So I'll just show you the evening meal which is available. So let's have a look at the food. If you don't like the look of that, you also have the option to go to Market 24. So this restaurant does a variety of international foods. They also do juices and pastries throughout the day as well.
Now let's have a look at the bars. So the hotel has a lounge called Eve Lounge. Let's head there now. Just have a look at how the lobby area looks at night time. The ceiling lights up in a blue color, which looks so nice. It looks so ambient and beautiful. So we're walking to Eve Lounge now. They have this cool decoration inside the lift. The Eve Lounge is located on the 34th floor. It's very impressive when you walk inside, the ambience is just amazing. You can get 360 views of Dubai, it's ideal at night time. Here they do food, they do drinks and they do shisha. So if you want a really nice view of the Burj Khalifa, then you can eat or drink here at night time. They accept walk-ins, but if you want to have a nice seat, it's best to make a reservation. So some of the facilities that the hotel has, they have a shop which has all the essentials that you might need, like drinks and snacks. Just next to the lobby, the hotel also has a masjid. So here is the masjid area. Okay, so that's all for today's video. If you have any questions about this hotel or apartment, leave a comment in the comment section below and thank you very much for watching.